G'day guys, welcome back to another Pink Panda video. Excited to talk about Ubisoft's new, new game coming out, X Defiant, which I know some of you may have already played an early beta on. Uh, I missed out on that opportunity, but there's a bit more information that's dropped, and I think it's time we take a bit of a look at it, because I feel like this is going to be a game that we're going to be playing uh, once it drops. So I guess this is Ubi's self-proclaimed uh, COD killer, I guess is what they called it. I'm not sure if it will go that far, but at the moment it's looking pretty good. And the exciting news is, there is going to be another round of play sessions very soon uh, available on PC, Xbox Series X and S and PS5 worldwide. Uh, the session times will be, it'll be th over three days, Wednesday the 21st of June to the 24th of June. So make sure you jump on Ubisoft's website and look up X Defiant so you can register your interest for that. Um, so it's looking to launch later this summer after the open session. So it's kind of like the last round of testing, I suppose. Uh, and once that's out of the way, they will share the final launch date, which is really, really good to see. So we'll pull up some gameplay now so we can have a look at what it's all about. And I'll keep reading through some of the features as we go. Okay, so to find as we know, free to play, first person online arena shooter, uh, customized loadouts, which is good. Uh, so the factions that you can play as are drawn from iconic Ubisoft worlds and represent distinct clashes. Uh, so yeah, you're looking at, you know, plays from the division and things like that. Uh, there's a diverse range of 14 maps at launch across several different arena and linear modes, including zone control, escort, occupy, and more. Or you can just fight in casual matches and climb the tiers in a um, competitive or ranked mode. In terms of content, it looks like they'll be doing every three months, they'll bring a new season that includes brand new factions, new characters, new maps, new weapons, new cos cosmetics and events. Uh, it is cross-play right from the get-go as well, so you can play with your friends across whatever platform they're on which is really, really good to see too. As you can see, they've also released a year one roadmap as well, which outlines a few of the things in line with uh, the new content that's coming out. Uh, so season one, there's going to be a new faction that comes in Ruby, three new weapons, three new maps, and a 90 tier battle pass, which is pretty deep. Uh, season two, an another new faction, Buzz, three more weapons, three more maps, another battle pass. Uh, season three, the Orchid. Uh, faction codename comes in season four the horde faction comes in with more weapons more battle passes and obviously some new arenas more progression yeah ranked motor and much more so an exciting one to keep an eye out for hoping i get access and hoping all of you get access to the next lot of play sessions that takes off fix defiant if you did get to play the earlier play sessions please let me know what you thought of the game in the comments below um, i'm really really keen to see how this goes i'm a big big fan of the division games uh, Ghost Recon and things like that. So I'm hoping it plays somewhat similar and I'm pretty excited by this one. So let's keep an eye on it.